Hey guys, I'm Alex, and today I'm going to be reviewing how to draw Lewis structures for the IBCAM SL review. So first I've written down some general steps that we can use, and so I'm going to go over these and we'll look at two examples. So the first step is to find the total number of valence electrons in the molecule, which we're going to do by looking at the group number that the element is in, which will tell you how many valence electrons it has, and then you're going to sum up all of them in the molecule. And then step two, you're going to place the least electronegative atom in the center. So electronegativity values are given to us in our data booklet, so you can use those if you want. But also remember that the periodic trend is that fluorine is the most electronegative atom, so whichever one is closest to fluorine is going to be the more electronegative. Um, also, a little exception to rule number two, if there is hydrogen involved in the molecule, it always has to be on the outside because hydrogen only has uh, one valence electron and it can only make one bond. It can't be the central atom. So step three is going to be place two electrons between atoms to form a chemical bond. And so this is going to be a single covalent bond and that's going to be your basic unit to link them together. Step four is when we complete the octets on the outside atoms. Um, and so step four only applies if you still have remaining valence electrons to use after step three. Uh, step five is if the central atom does not have an octet, move electrons from outer atoms to form double or triple bonds. And so step five applies if you still haven't finished your Lewis structure, but you haven't completed all the octets and you have no more valence electrons. So what you're going to do is going to shift around some of the ones you already have on the outside atoms to form those double or triple bonds because the electrons are shared. And so that frees up a couple more for you to place in different spots. And so the first example that we're going to look at is May 2016, paper two, question number one. Uh, Part A, part I, and it says draw a Lewis electron dot structure of phosphine. And so the first step is to find the total number of valence electrons. And so we know because phosphorus is in group 5A, it's going to have five valence electrons. And because hydrogen is in group 1, it is going to have one valence electron. And so thus, when we sum this up, we get eight valence electrons total. And so we know that there are eight electrons that we can use in this Lewis structure. And so step two, place the least electronegative element in the center. I have written the two electronegativity values for hydrogen and phosphorus here. But once again, because hydrogen only has one atom, it has to be on the outside and it cannot be a central atom. And so then step three, we're going to put the electrons in between the atoms to form a single covalent bond. So we're going to place two in between um, hydrogen and phosphorus three times. In step four, complete the octets on outside atoms. Um, and so looking at this, we don't have to do any steps because hydrogen already has the duet rule satisfied. It has two electrons. Um, both coming from that single covalent bond. And so thus, there are no outside atoms that need to be satisfied and given more electrons. And so now step five, finish the electrons, move them around to the central atom. We still have two electrons that have not been used, and phosphorus does not have its octet rule completed. So we're going to add the lone pair on top of phosphorus. Notice how you can also draw the single covalent bonds in between the phosphorus and hydrogen atoms with a line instead of the dots. It's the same thing, just a little bit different drawing. And so next we're going to go to the May 2012, paper two times in one, question 5a, part one, which says deduce the Lewis structure for Si2H6 showing all valence electrons. And so the first step is going to be to determine how many valence electrons we have. So silicon is going to have four valence electrons because it's in group 4A. Hydrogen is going to have one valence electron because it's in group 1. And then we're going to sum that up. So 2 times 4 plus 6 times 1 equals a total of 14 valence electrons. 
So step two, we have to compare the electronegativities. Um, I wrote down the electronegativities for both of them. And so in this case, we don't really even need to look at them though because hydrogen has to be on the outside because it only has that one valence electron. Also, it just happens to be that silicon has the lower electronegativity value anyways, and so it would be on the inside regardless. And then part three, we're going to place the uh, pair of electrons in between each atom to form that single covalent bond. And so notice how when we do that, there are we use up all the electrons for this atom, and so steps four and five really aren't necessary. And so our final answer is going to just end at step three after putting those single bonds um, between the two atoms.